Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thanksgiving 2023. In this show, I talk about why and who started Thanksgiving. I also share the poems on Thanksgiving called Thanksgiving, Before Thanksgiving, Thank You, and a poem I haven't read in a long while, but that it says a lot about unity. It's called Faceless One. The song at the end of this podcast is from thefump.com, where there's a match of funny songs from many talented artists who work to make our lives better because they have not forgotten the fun in life. The song at the end of this podcast is It Was a Good Black Friday by Devo Spice from thefump.com. And the song will not be played on YouTube because, well, it's YouTube. On October 3rd, 1789, George Washington gave a speech designating Thursday, November 26th as a National Day of Thanksgiving. But, what is there to be thankful for in 2023? The economy is real bad, but it has been bad before and we've always come out on top. How do you think this is so, that we've come out on top? It's almost like some grand hand has parted the economic seas. Also, at the time Thanksgiving was started, we fought a war for our independence to establish a constitutional republic, and this was so we could govern ourselves. How are we doing on that camp? I'll let you judge for yourself. So, what should we be thankful for on this National Day of Thanksgiving? While some people will have a more personal reason to be thankful for, and I do have personal reasons and I thank God every day for the miracles in my life. But on a higher scale, I thank God that we have not had war like so many do over the globe. And that for the most part, I can walk down the street to go shopping or to watch a movie and be okay. I'm also thankful that the American economy has not yet collapsed, even though every year we hear this will happen. I'm also thankful for learning that the citizens of these United States are still doing to stay united in our basic freedoms, even though we are tested daily on this unity. But what I'm most thankful for is to be doing this podcast and blog to those who listen to it and enjoy some poetry and music that helps people get through their day. So I thank you for listening to the show over the past years. And Remember, as you go about your day, to stay creative in the magic of life, because that is where our magic lays. Thank you for listening. Thanksgiving. Harvest. Loss and abundance. We either have one or the other. We should celebrate both, because we learn from both. From loss, we see error. From abundance, confirmation. We plant seeds in the beginning, and depending on how we care for our seeds, we have gain or loss. The color of leaves, gone from bright color to a darker, mature color, both beautiful times of autumn. Autumn is a cycle, beginning to end, cool and cold. Within the cycle of the year, we look at the season, see the cycles of our life. Remember times past, ponder on the present and wonder about the future. We celebrate with family by eating a meal, pork pie, potatoes, and gravy, for dessert, pecan or pumpkin pie. We would tell stories of the year or of past experiences, maybe play a game or two, watch sports or a movie. The most important thing, though, is getting together, sharing and celebrating our stories. It's how we learn and grow. It's how we become one. First family, then a country, and finally the world. True God consciousness achieved. Before Thanksgiving Two weeks before Thanksgiving, some leaves still on trees, sitting at the grocery store, people enter and leave, getting food for the day, Christmas decorations up, Thanksgiving staples, pies, cranberries, and potatoes, but no turkeys can be seen. Christmas shows stream. I still find something that I'm thankful for. Family, friends, and country. 
good job, shelter, and health, those moments of freedom, and to be here in the field of creation where anything is still possible. It's the struggle that teaches us, that shows us who we are, that shows us what we can overcome. Two weeks before Thanksgiving, our story does not end, our stories we share with all who listen and learns. I'm thankful for that one day where we realize the truth of God consciousness, that we are individuals in the one God. Remember this time years ago? The title of this poem is Thank You. Birds thank the air, leaves thank the tree, clouds thank the sky, cars thank the road. I thank the mountains. Also, I'm thankful for toilet paper, that the arrows and stores are gone, that I don't need to wear a mask, except in healthcare businesses, that stores are open for a job to pay my bills and my hobby podcasting, for going to a movie theater, watching stories and learning, for story, music, and art. I'm thankful for the pendulum swing that I can experience normal again. I'm also thankful for this app and swipe to express my art in words that inspire others and myself. I thank mind and emotion, this existence I live within this moment where I can experience God in the physical. All I need to say, though, is I thank God for everything. Let it be so. Faceless One by Robert G. Parent Who is this faceless one I see in the mirror, in his avatar of this place? She is a dancer who makes poetry with her feet. He is a writer who makes poetry with his pen. Who is this faceless one I see in the mirror, in her avatar of this place? She is an engineer who makes buildings, cities, and bridges. He's the interior designer who designs and organizes spaces. Who is the spaceless one I see in the mirror, in the avatar of this place? One who is a politician, one who is the statesman, one who is the cook and the waitress. Who is the spaceless one I see in the mirror, in the avatar of this place? I am who I decide to be. I am he and I am she. I am you and you are me. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Our Constitution was started in balance. It is our duty to continue to work for that balance. For this reason, I believe that our American Constitution was divinely inspired by God. And remember, to stay creative in the magic of life and have an awesome season of light and love. Thank you always for listening.